Hey, Michael, that's Force PC. So my suspicions are and were that um, DDR5 speed does affect X-Plane performance. We know it affects gaming in general, um, pro in uh, productivity applications. But the question I had, because hardly anybody tests, tests this type of stuff with X-Plane, is, you know, does the DDR5 speed have a uh, noticeable performance difference when it comes to X-Plane. So I did a little bit of testing. Um, I didn't do a huge long list of configurations, just stuck to the Intel platform for this particular uh, test. And I found that anywhere from 5 to 10% performance difference occurs when you're looking at DDR5 4800 and DDR5 either 6000 or 6400. Now, um, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a lot of pre-builts out there that still come with DDR5 4800 or 5200, and, and this is on desktops, of course. Um, and it's a little baffling to me to some degree as to why they still do, because DDR5 4800 really isn't any cheaper nowadays than 6000 or 6400. And I think a lot of that has to do with these bigger companies uh, build their systems much further in advance. And when they built the system, let's say six months ago, there was a delta, whereas nowadays there's almost no delta. So um, we're, we're building everything with 6,000 and up. Uh, we're transitioning to 6,400 um, as we get rid of the 6,000 that we have in stock. So um, I'll put the, uh, the, the numbers up here uh, up on the screen, but as you'll see, um, there is a pretty decent performance difference, again, 5 to 10%. Now, it's not enough just to buy DDR5-6000 and stick it in the computer. The base frequency, if I'm not mistaken, of Z690 and Z790 um, when it comes to DDR5 is 4800. So any memory you stick in, no matter what speed, 4800 and up, uh, is going to default to 4800 uh, in almost every case. Um, you have to enable the faster speed. It's, a, it's the equivalent of a checkbox in the BIOS, but you'd be surprised how many uh, systems don't have that enabled, or there's probably a lot of people building their own systems that don't have that enabled by default. So you do have to enable that faster speed in the BIOS uh, for that speed to, for it to actually run at that speed. So uh, there you go. It, memory speed does make a difference. And by the way, there'll be a bit of diminishing returns is, is what I suspect. And I'll test this down the road. But as speeds go up, the next logical step up is probably DDR5 7200. And it'll continue to go up. And there'll probably be, you know, a curve like this where it's diminishing returns as you go up. There's a huge difference between 4800 and 6000. But as you go to 6400 and 7200 and 8000, whatever it ends up going to, it'll, those returns will start to you know, drop off, um, the percentages won't be as big. But um, definitely today, you don't want to be running your desktop PC at DDR5 4800. You're leaving a lot of performance on the table.